what what type of person would be interested in a hyperbaric oxygen chamber? A variety of people may be interested in using a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. Some common groups of people who might find a hyperbaric oxygen chamber beneficial include athletes, fitness enthusiasts, okay? Uh, people with medical conditions, Individuals with chronic conditions like migraines, fatigue syndrome, and multiple, multiple sclerosis who believe that hyperbaric oxygen therapy can help improve their symptoms. Divers and submariners, okay, beauty and wellness enthusiasts who believe that hyperbaric uh, oxygen therapy can improve skin health, boost energy levels, and enhance overall wellness. So we're going to try to find some keywords for you so that you can create your content marketing plan first. And then we're going to see if we can put together maybe an ad. And then on top of that, what we're going to do is we're going to see how we can turn that into a theme park product or service. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so let's see. That is the keyword. Let's see. We're going to take that keyword. We're going to ask chat GPT. What other keywords do you suggest uh, for SEO when people search? Okay, let's see if we can get some keywords out of chat GPT for this. Okay, hyper chamber, blah, oxygen therapy, hyperbaric machine, medicine, blah, 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 wound healing therapy, decompression, sickness treatment. Boom, look at all of these keywords that Chat GPT is giving us. And then we'll be able to find some more over on Google as well. And if we want some more keywords, we'll just say more, please. Wow, let's see. Sure, here's some more keywords hyperbaric chamber. Uh, HBLT therapy. Oh, snappage. And I can guarantee you that these are not competitive. Not that I know of anyway. All right. <laughs> Enhanced recovery. Oh, snap. Hello. Athletes will love that. Bodybuilders and all of that. Non-invasive therapy, oxygen chamber benefits, health and wellness benefits of HBLT. These are some, what you want to do is you can take chat GPT. You can take some of these keywords. All right. If I were you, if you have a blog or a website or something like that, I will create a separate page for each one of these keywords. And I will use the steps in the perfect SEO game plan that I sent you guys. OK, follow the steps of the perfect SEO game plan and I will rank for all of these keywords. And since it's not a high level of competition and I guarantee it's not watch this before we move on. I'm going to show you that it's not a high level of competition for this niche. And I mean, I, I just got to guess on that one. We're just going to guess. But, you know, maybe I'm wrong. I've been wrong before, guys. I've definitely been wrong before. But let's see if we can get this person right here some traffic to their blog using SEO for this. OK, let's move on. We're going to share this screen for Google. Bow, baby. Bow. OK. So check this out. Google is telling us some other keywords as well right here. But we're just going to take this uh, this root keyword and we're going to see how competitive it is. Um, press enter. Oh, snappage. It is below 500,000 search results. And I ain't even did no modifications to it yet. Let's scroll down. Let's look at the quality of the websites. Hmm. OK, anytime you see images ranking on the first page of Google, especially this uh, up of this high and the people also ask, which is the FAQ section that's letting you know this is a very weak first page of Google. It will not be difficult to rank for this. Not muy difficil at all. OK, so these websites. OK, then we got a duplicate right here. So it's letting you know they're throwing me for a doozy. They're throwing me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now <clears throat> let's see what other keywords that would be related to this. You put the cursor behind it and you just tap right there and it's showing you all of these. How long do the effects of hyperbaric oxygen therapy last? A person that is searching that is doing research because they're, ch 
chances are they're planning on going ahead and doing it, you know, if they're searching that. But let's go ahead and put a space see if we can find some more keywords related that we don't have over there in chat GPT. Because I don't think I seen this right here. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy for hair growth or for wounds. But, you know, it might be over there. Let's put a space. Oh, snappage. Okay, here we go. We got another keyword right there. But now what we want to do is we want to do the all in title and put a space and see how many pages. Okay, that says a whole crap load. That says there's a lot right there, but it is not guaranteed because the page is weak. So the, the formula, man, for this, sometimes it can be a little tricky. But we do want it to normally say on the low end. But look at this. So we can make an exception. Look at the content quality on the page. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Where is the rest of the media, guys? This is like early 2000s type website. OK, OK, you need images, you need video, you need like infographics, embeds and, and all of this extra stuff. You can't just put some text on there. What's up, Curtis? Hey, how you doing? Um, Tony Kern said, my plan was to use one if I caught the Delta strain of the Rona. <laughs> Oliver said he wants to be the next demonstration. Uh, uh, we'll check that out, man. Uh, he said insurance. Okay, yeah, we can do insurance next. I appreciate you guys for participating because it's kind of boring if you don't, man. I'm going to help you if you don't tell me what you need help with. Okay. All right. So now, now that we see, let, let's take another one of the long tail keywords and we put a space on it. Um, let's see. Treatment. No, 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 no. Actually, I read, oh, this, this one is good. Okay. But what I want to do is near me uh, after this. Let's do near me. That's another hack, guys. If you have any type of local businesses or you generate leads, see, it's getting a little bit lower. That's good. That's good. But that's still kind of high. But uh, it's getting a little bit no lower. If you have any type of local business, another trick to rank for a lot of good stuff is to go after near me terms. It's not as much uh, competition for that, especially if you're ranking in the snack pack. Okay. Oh, snap. This is way over 500,000. Hmm. Is it a no go? Let me look at the rest of the pages. Hmm. Yeah, that's, mm, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't go after that one real fast. Let's see. Oh, snap. But as you can see, it's only five competing pages for that. So I probably would give it a shot, depending on, let's check to see the quality of the number one. Uh, see, as y'all can see, the content is not that good. Now, we don't know uh, if they have any, like, powerful backlinks or something like that. We, there's no way for us to know that. Well, it is a way for us to know that, but I'm not about to go and get that tool because it's unnecessary, okay? But let's see. Cost. I saw one that said cost. All righty. Yeesh, it just keep going up and up and up. But let's go. Let's check it out. Oh, we got him some keyword. Oh, snap. Do you see this right here, man? So you could rank for a cost of hyperbaric oxygen therapy near me. Okay. I mean, you can get specific. As you can see, the related, they're trying to show me related searches and stuff because, you know, they can tell by my uh, computer history that I'm from St. Louis originally, which is weird because I still have IP uh, uh, the situation on. Google is smart as hell, man. Like they, you can't really trick them for real. You, they know everything. All right, let's see this one though. I would get super. Oh snap! I would get very local with it. Look at that zero, baby, zero. Okay, now let's see MD save. Let's see this one. And this is ranking number one. You might even be able to rank on the first page of Google with a video if you know how to rank videos. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a weak first page. Okay, so now what we want to do, let's see. And then you got other, like, keywords related to it and everything. But what we want to do is get some content. 
right here. All right. We're going to tell chat. Oh, we don't have to type in chat GPT. Write me an article about the benefits of blah, blah, blah. Include uh, famous athletes that use blah, blah, blah. Include the pricing by state for blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Do y'all see? This is how you command chat GPT. Uh, um, uh, so we got the pricing. We got the benefits. Uh, also, create an, uh, a detailed FAQ section for blah 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 <laughs> also include see this is how you get your own page seo on point right this is how you do it man like you need to know exactly what you need if you already know seo is powerful because you, you know exactly what to tell chat gpt you can't just say hey do my own page seo like see i know that i'm gonna need include and uh include HTML code for an infographic that explains blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, let me copy this just in case this is too long and it doesn't allow me to do it. But let's see. Do you see how I made this a uh, uh, completely original content? Like, I keep talking to you guys about that, but I keep getting freaking comments. Like, like I go in there and I look at the comments every now and then, and it's, and it's I guess it's people from the old videos, and they're like, well, how are you not, how are you not going to get caught up for plagiarism? They don't rank uh, chat GPT SEO. It's not going to rank in Google. It's not going to index because there's too much plagiarism. It's too much AI content. L listen, that's because you don't know how to talk to it. You got to talk to it, baby. You got to talk to it. Watch this. If it let it go. I knew it. Too long. Let's try it, though. We'll refresh it. Good thing I copied it, right? Now, we'll try it again. Boom. Yes. It is doing it this time. It is doing it. Hmm. The Bible says real fruit is supposed to have seeds in it. So don't buy the grapes without the seeds. I got these grapes right now. No, it's not carnivore. <laughs> All right, so you see it creating a completely original piece of content doing the on page. Look at it. It's talking about LeBron James. It's talking about Kobe Bryant before his death was known for the HBOT. Look at this, man. Look at this. Come on, y'all. Come on. And this is some stuff that would take a virtual assistant at least a week to research and really come up with some real good content. And this is doing this in less than a few can, a few, you can't see? Okay, y'all say y'all can't see? Ah, oh, dang, it's still over there looking at Google. Hold on. My bad. Let me show y'all what ChatGPT is doing, what it came up with. There it is, my bad. So this is all it came up with. I told it to write an article about the benefits of hyperbaric oxygen therapy, HBOT, include famous athletes that use hyperbaric oxygen therapy, include the pricing by state for hyperbaric oxygen uh, therapy, also create a detailed um, FAQ section for the hyperbaric oxygen therapy, include the HTML code for an infographic that explains hyperbaric, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, over here, we got the keywords and stuff for it. So I'm, I just gave you all of this, brother. So now you got the related keywords right here. Where is it at? Where is the one that we first just... Mm, where is it? Where is it? Where is the keyword? Okay, so here's all your keywords. I'm going to send to you or you can just watch the replay of this video. And these are all, all the keywords and stuff. 
Like you got an abundance of keywords that you can create content and pages and videos for and literally dominate this niche right here is not competitive at all. And now also, if you want me to, I could just send you this article right here. You just have to know how to talk to chat GPT and this will handle your own page SEO. So it gave us FAQ right here. This is what you would plug into your FAQ right here, but it didn't give us the, um, what else did I ask for? The infographic. So we're just going to hit continue. Let's see what it does. If it just goes ahead and gives an infographic. I should have said, hey, loser, you didn't give me the infographic. <laughs> okay. Now, but look, it's continuing. It's on four, then it went to five. It's literally continue. Just click on, you just type in continue. Mm. Oh, snap. Is it giving us the HTML code for an infographic? Now, this code might not be perfect. Let me warn you. You might still need to pretty it up or something like that. But guess what? You didn't have to come up with it on your own. Extremely powerful. And if you wanted to give you some more, like Busta Rhymes, you would just press continue again. Hmm. Oh, snap, guys. <laughs> okay. ADA compliance. Mildred said he lives in the country. That's why his internet is lagging. Is it lagging right now? It's lagging right now. Uh, y'all, y'all can't see this page right here. Uh, the Chat GPT page. What do y'all see? I'm on the Chat GPT page. Yeah, I'm not at the hotel no more, y'all. Yesterday I was at the hotel and it was perfect. Like just perfect uh, freaking, you know, connection and all of that stuff. I'm back in the mountains again. And, you know, that's how I go up here. <laughs> OK. All right. So you got the freaking uh, 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 you got all the keywords. You have content for this one. This one keyword right here. Look at this, man. So imagine you create a page for this one keyword and it includes all of your uh, uh related keywords into the content right here you got like one through what is that one through nine benefits and it has the infographic it has a faq section and stuff you just paste this onto um uh onto the page let's see if chat gpt will do this let's see um let's see because then you want to embed videos give me uh the links to videos about let's see if they'll do it <laughs> sometimes when you tell chat gpt to get videos it acts up oh snap did it just go and get some youtube videos for you oh oh snap what's up travis look man it's doing all your seo for you all your on page seo <laughs> hmm. Yeah, man. I'm trying to tell you, dude. Some of y'all are paying virtual assistants three dollars an hour, which is still cheap. But as you can see, I mean, we don't even need an hour. <laughs> so we got five videos. You can go to these videos. You can get the embed code because you don't want to just put the links on the site. That's not going to give the site any power. All right. You want to get the embed code and then you want to embed the videos into your website itself. OK, then that's going to share link juice and power from YouTube to the web page and help it rank better. OK, do you all understand that? <laughs> Stupid dog. All right, so now we have five videos. So now we're gonna ask ChatGPT, what 
websites do you suggest we get uh, guest posts from for blank? <laughs> Let's see. Look at this. Look. Come on. Now it's even giving you a back a backlink strategy. It is giving you a freaking backlink strategy. Come on, man. Come on. I'm freestyling with this, man. Bars, right? <laughs> it went out and got the top websites that you can reach out to and see if you can get a guest post. And a guest post will get you a backlink going back to your pages and help with ranking. Come on, man. Now, who are the top doctors? No, we ain't gonna say doctors, specialists for boom. Now let's see if it comes up with this. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, hyperbaric medicine physicians. I was hoping to get specific names, but that's cool. So as you guys can see, I mean, we have an entire like I'm, I can copy this, and and who was that that gave me a dang on shortcut when I was trying to count the words on the dang on page or whatever? I went to wordcounter.com, but let's see um, how many words is on this page. Let's see how many words are on this page, because then we might need to make it longer. Word counter. What I like to do is get at least 2,500 to 5,000 words, guys. That just, you know, means that I pretty much outdid the competitors for the most part. Okay, so we need a little bit more. It says we have 1,584 words. Okay, so if, I, I would just go back to chat GPT and... I would have it make it longer, include, I would say, continue. And just let it do a little bit more until it gets to around 2,500 words. <laughs> and boom, guys. That's exactly how you do. What is that? Okay, so it's giving us another infographic for HBLT. That's cool. All right, so that should be like at least close to 2,500. I'm not going to type it back over there again. Marcus Pauling says, I'm going to need that perfect SEO blueprint. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. And this isn't even half of what's in there, dude. Like, if you guys understand then that's probably the most powerful blueprint you're going to have in your life. And I've been giving it to you guys free. And you probably ask me, like, why are you just giving it away? Well, I mean, a lot of beginners think SEO is boring. SEO isn't cool. It's something that you do in your basement behind a computer in the dark. You know what I'm saying? But that's a better alternative than going to P-Hub, if you know what I'm saying. But, <laughs> like, a lot of people don't, like, they're they not feeling it and SEO is a little bit slower. So I can give this out to the entire world and probably only five of you will do it. You see what I'm saying? So it doesn't really create competition for me to expose exactly what I do because most people see what I do and they're like, damn, I'm not gonna do all that, which allows me to dominate. All right, so like, listen, so you just got that, man. So you got the SEO, you have, uh, uh, yeah, you got all the keywords. Now you have the infographic, you have the FAQ section, you have uh, all your content for on page, and then they got the videos for you. I strongly suggest you find 10 to 14 original uh, images to put on there. All right. And on top of that, you want to, uh, what was I about to say? It'll come back to me. Uh, images, 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 images. I can't think about it. But you create a silo, okay? So you want your main keyword, your main most powerful competitive keyword to be the hub page, the silo page, the un like the top of the 
Um, it looks like the avatar tree. Okay. So <laughs> the rest of the keywords are going to be sub niche pages. Okay. Separate pages and the power of the link juice is going to spread and filter throughout all of the pages and help rank each other. All right. So once one page starts ranking, it starts boosting up the rest of the pages as well when it gets traffic. Okay. Now we're going to ask it to create a, uh, what was I about to say? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, create a, we got the infographic. We got that. Create, oh, create a video script uh, for the above content. Oh, snappage. So not only, <laughs> not only is it getting you the article and all of that extra stuff, but now it's taking everything up there that we just came up with and it's creating a freaking YouTube video for you. Okay. And you can hire somebody to do the voiceover or you can use Pictory because YouTube hasn't banned Pictory yet. Do y'all see that? And then if you really want to kill it, what you would do, you can go to Google Trends. I mean, I go to Google Translate. You can go to Google uh, Trends and you can see which countries uh, uh, look up uh, the hyperbaric chambers the most. And then you can come back to ChatGPT and you can tell ChatGPT to translate all of the content that it just created for you into that language. ChatGPT, uh, 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 um, translate everything you just created into Spanish. And then you can rank those pages. Now you automatically triple your sales potential. Okay. So this is the video right here. All right. It just created a video for you. All right. Now let's see if it uh, translate all of the above into Spanish. Let's see if it does that. <laughs> ah, look at that, baby. Look at that, baby. Come on, tell me your virtual assistant is doing this for, for cheap. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, Lee. Yeah, man. Look at that. And you can tell them to do it in French, too. <laughs> yes, this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What's up, Campbell? What's up? <laughs> Dude, this is the best toy since Hot Wheels. You understand what I'm saying? Back in the day. You understand what I'm talking about? Like... Dude, cap guns and stuff. You understand? Like, this is the best toy ever. You understand? Like, come on, man. Yes. Yeah, Oliver said, this ish is ridiculous. Effing ridiculous in my Kanye West voice. Okay. Uh, Muriel said, you are amazing. Thank you very much. That was incredible. Thank you. Uh, thank Chad GPT for me as well. I would if I knew them, but you are welcome for me. Um, yeah, 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 blind guy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's a good prompt. Uh, um, count the words above. I think that's what it is. Total number of words is 786 words. So instead, basically, that's, that's what uh, I was asking you guys earlier. Instead of me going to wordcounter.com or whatever, or .net, I could just ask chat GPT to tell me how many words was in all of that stuff. Like, I keep forgetting to do that, right? So you see, we created videos uh, from the content. It created the content. It got all the keywords. It got all the imagery for you. It got the YouTube videos for you. It gave you a backlink strategy, partnership strategy. It told you what you can do to get increase the sales. Like, what? come on, man. Come on. If you don't go and do this, man, I'm going to be extremely bothered, okay? Like, and not in a good way. Like, it's going to be, I'm going to be extremely bothered if you don't take this. Like, all of the stuff that we just went over with this hyper, because guess what? You are in, this is not a competitive industry. So, it, 
Let me see how much that costs. I need to know how much these things cost. How much does the average hyper? I probably could just ask you, but I'm just using this bag uh, oxygen chamber cost. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> Oliver said a lot. <laughs> Dark Chemistry said, my kids just don't understand the convenience of chat GPT in mid-journey, LOL. I still haven't really got into mid-journey, but I heard about it, and and I, I was thinking about experimenting with it a little bit, you understand? But yeah, dude, I understand. You see, I'm about this high-ticket game right here. Look at this. It says, portable, portable hyperbaric chambers, which is another key word. Portable hyperbaric chambers, these are typically the most affordable options. With prices ranging from 5K, that's the most affordable, 5K to 15K. Come on, man. Come on. Help me out, y'all. This is this is really messing with me, y'all. Because, listen, there's niches out there and there's products out there that are extremely high ticket that people are just dropping money on without a second thought. No hesitation. You understand? Look at that. 5000 to Fifteen thousand. Then we got the home hyperbaric chambers. These are larger and more sophisticated than portable chambers, and can cost anywhere from. So man, you better get the. Hey, listen, get on this before I do, because then it's like it's gonna be muy difficile. Okay, get on this before I do. Look at this commercial hyperbaric chambers. These are the largest. And man, listen, look at this, man. Look at this, dude. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> These are the largest and most advanced type of chamber and can cost upwards of $10,000 or more. $10,000, I mean, uh, uh, $100,000. What the heck am I talking about? $100,000 or more. Man, dude, I need to, like, dude, I ain't never even dealt with them before. I need to see what the, what's the fuss? What is the big fuss on these things right here, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> wow. That is crazy, y'all. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's money. That is money. And that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Most of the high ticket stuff is not even competitive when it comes to marketers and stuff. I don't know why. Maybe they're intimidated. Maybe they won't. They think they won't be able to sell it. Maybe they don't think like I, I don't know why. I don't know why the most expensive stuff, like the marketers, don't really like going after that stuff. When I first started doing the private jet uh, charter brokering, brokering, and everything like that, it was a ghost town before I started telling people about private jet charters. Like it was a ghost. Wasn't nobody doing it. I'm like, dude, are you serious? <laughs> like a flight from LA to Chicago can be like $48,000 one way. You telling me ain't nobody thinking about getting into this? That's crazy. Okay, but anyway, Oliver says, uh, Muriel, you just cre created a competitor for yourself, your instructor. <laughs> nah, man, I'm going to leave it alone. Listen, but I got a stop clock on that mug. If I don't see you doing this in the next month, man, listen, hey. <laughs> A <laughs> hundred thousand dollars? That's crazy. This is a keyword right here. Commercial hyperbaric chambers. You understand? You know, uh the, the, Muriel said it's a small niche though, and it's not like the FDA or the AMA uh recommends it. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. Listen though, y'all don't ever be afraid of competition. Remember when I told you guys, do your research and dominate your market. And it, look at your competitors as allies instead. We all have something different to offer. Even if you sell something similar or even the same, what about the other facets of your business? You might be able to help them with something else. You see what I'm saying? And uh, partner on other places, right? So don't don't look at people as like oh like a threat. Nobody should be a threat to you. Okay. <sighs> Uh, Oliver said, you on it already. You ain't fooling nobody. <laughs> no, I'm not on this. I, I promise you. I, I, you know, I heard about it uh, with with Alex Becker. You know, Alex Becker, he's always talk about sleeping in his hyperbaric chamber and stuff, looking weird as, as a mug. But but 
but I wasn't like you you know looking at it like I didn't I didn't know how much the mugs cost, man. <laughs> Cause I wasn't thinking about doing it, so I really wasn't paying attention to it. I didn't see the purpose. All right, so now we want to create a theme park. Oh, first we need to see. All right, create a uh, three. Create three Facebook ads uh, targeting athletes to sell hyperbaric chambers. Uh, Oxygen tamers. Look at this. It's going to create the Facebook ads and everything. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, snap. Come on, man. Look at this. Elevate your performance in hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Here's the ad copy. Take your training to the next level with hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Our chambers increase oxygen levels to help speed up recovery time. Do y'all see how you don't have to do a dang on thing? You, if you know how to talk to chat, you can get the entire traffic, the entire traffic mapped out for you. All of it. What's up, Seb? How you doing? He said the only one I knew who owned one was Michael Jackson. Yeah. Muriel said, I'll report back to you and let you know how it goes. Please do, man. Keep me, keep me posted because this is going to work for you. Please implement it. Remember, I told you guys. In order to cash in, you have to put in action. There is no cash in without action. It's just not. We can sit and hope. We can talk about it. We can do all of that. But if you can't take this stuff, like ChatGPT came up with it. Okay. You got all these. You got all these keywords. All these keywords. Okay. And then I just gave you like two or three articles, the videos that's going to be embedded. Oh, excuse me, the backlink strategy, some infographics for your own page SEO. On top of that, we got the video, and then it just created three Facebook ads. Okay, now guess what? If you want to take over Google as well with the paid traffic, now create three Google ads for hyperbaric uh, oxygen chambers for sale. Snap. Okay, now you got a complete thing. It's complete. It's complete now. Look at you. You got the Google now. You got the Google ads, baby. <laughs> Come on, man. Tell me chat GPT isn't it isn't helpful. You know what I'm saying? It got the display ad, the, the display URL for you. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Then it's giving you instructions. So with uh, with Google, Google ads, you have keywords as well. So we want to ask what keywords should I use for these Google ads? <laughs> oh man. Mm. I mean, it's like you don't even have to think anymore. <laughs> you just need to know what to ask. All right, let's see. Can it come? Is it smart enough to come up with negative keywords? What negative keywords can I? Use for these Google ads. There's some negative keywords. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Oh, come on. Are you telling me it really just came up with the negative keyword list for this too? Are you telling me? Listen, come on. I do. Listen, if y'all don't get this, I don't care if they make, I don't care if they charge a thousand dollars a year for this. If you don't get this, man, you ain't really for real. You ain't really for real now. Nah. Like I told y'all, don't pay for it if you're if when they when they when they drop the pay version, don't pay for it if you just dibble and dabbling. But as you can see, if you are a business owner or someone 
uh, 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 planning to own a business or you do marketing or you got some type of agency or something, it lit. <laughs> Dude, I'm like literally like about to start hyperventilating over in this mug. It just gave us the negative keyword list too. I didn't even think that it knew what the hell I was talking about when I said, all right, give me some negative keywords for this. <laughs> negative keywords are basically what you don't want to show up for. You don't want to show up when the person is searching for a free hyperbaric chamber or a cheap one. You want to get high quality traffic. Sometimes your Google ads will show up for like the wrong stuff. So you want to make sure you plug in a negative keyword list as well. And it just gave it to you, baby. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh my God. Listen, listen. <sighs> Oliver says, by the way, I'm actually doing the steps for my niche as you're talking. This is not a fluke. <laughs> hey, let them know, Oliver. Let them know, bro. Come on, man. We don't play no games over here. You know, well, actually, I got to play Monopoly with my family a little bit later. But you know what I'm talking about, though, man. You know what I'm saying. So you got everything you need, everything you need, man. Come on, man. Come on. I'm like borderline begging you to plug this stuff in because I want to see what's going to happen with it. Like, I get very antsy, man. If I don't see you ranking for this in the next month, I, it's, it's going to be kind of difficult for me not to hop on this, man. If I remember, because I got a lot of stuff coming up. We got the boot camp getting ready to launch on the 20th. So I'm talking stuff, really. But I, I just pray that you, like, come on, tackle this, man. Tackle it, man. Like, come on, give it a dang on football injury. Tackle it, man. All right? Yes, Lord. No thanks, Say Yes, Lord. Hashtag yes, Lord. Let me get about a million hashtag yes, Lords in the chat. Everybody, there's 36 people on here. But double it up. Let's get a whole crap load of hashtag yes lords in this piece. You understand what I'm saying? So we got the Google ads. And that's just, I just went off the whim with this mug. Okay, so now let's see if we can create a theme park product out of this. And then we'll move on to the next person. Okay, because we literally just gave uh, this Muriel, right? We just literally gave Muriel everything they need to get traffic and sales. But now we want to turn one customer or client into six or seven, well, actually like five to seven different transactions. That's what I'm trying to teach you guys, all right? How do you, that's what the theme park does, the theme park product does, okay? When you come inside the theme park, think about it. Like if you go to Six Flags or, or Disney World, you pay to get in. So that's the first transaction. And then they make that theme park so big and have so many attractions. By the time you leave that night or at the end of the weekend, you then became a crap load of transactions for them. OK, so it doesn't matter if they have a flood of people, if they can turn one person into multiple sales. That's what it's about, guys. So let's see what services uh let's see list a number of services or products let's see that would i'm just freestyling y'all i know nothing about this industry so you guys are seeing me do all of this just off i don't know what's going to happen uh list a number of services or products that would complement uh hyper uh barrack Oxygen, oops, oxygen chamber treatment or purchase. Like, I don't even know how to say it. So this is all free uh, freestyle. Okay. Let's see what it suggests. <sighs> physical therapy for athletes. Oh, snappage. So it's recommending physical therapy. That's number one. Massage therapy. That's number two. Mm. <laughs> I feel like crying right now, man. This is so easy, man. Okay. <laughs> Nutritional supplements. Like, dude, where, where was all this stuff at, man, when I was at y'all, you know, just starting like where y'all are starting, right? You know, compression garments, medical grade air filtration systems, medical monitoring devices, medical grade beds. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. It's important to consider the individual's specific needs and goals when recommending complementary products or services to support the hyperbaric oxygen therapy. All righty. That was the disclaimer, right? So check this out. We have eight products or services that will complement this hyperbaric therapy chamber purchase or treatment. Guess what, guys? So with this one right here, if you are ranking locally for this, it says physical therapy. What you can do is you can set up a partnership with the physical therapist and you can get paid per lead. All right. So when a person goes to inquire about purchasing your oxygen chamber, when they get inside your theme park product, your follow up email needs to automatically include this. A. Hey, with your purchase of your hyperbaric oxygen chamber, we recommend that you accept this complimentary session with a physical therapist because this will en enhance the uh, experience that you get from your chamber. Call this number right now to schedule. Oh, snap. And when they call that number to schedule, that person, that therapist has to give you $100 to $200 per lead. Oh, snap. And you do the same thing with the massage therapist. And then with the nutritional supplements, it's very simple for you to just go on the nu nutritional supplement websites, go to the bottom of the website, just like on Amazon, look for the partnership uh, careers or the affiliates or the referral section. You sign up for their referral program. And when these people come to your site to purchase and then they hit up the follow up emails, it's going to include some supplements that's going to go along uh, with it to increase uh, uh, to speed up their recovery time, baby. OK. And then we got this. So basically all of this stuff, you can get affiliate links to. So you've created your theme park product. The first ticket, their admission ticket was when they purchased the hyperbaric oxygen chamber itself or the treatment, whichever one you're promoting. That's when they first entered your theme park. Then next came with the supplements or the physical therapy session. These are all attractions inside your park. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is how you get multiple transactions out of one customer. It has to be related. And guess what? What goes with the upkeep of the hyperbaric chamber? Well, like parts replacement, uh, um, you know, filtrate. I don't know how it works. The filters and all of that extra stuff. So now you can include discounts to parts replacements and get paid off of that as well. Because guess what? They got to go and get it somewhere anyway. Woo, wait, boy. <laughs> but people don't think about this. They get the first sale, then they get all excited and and I'm like, oh, I'm about to be rich, baby. Oh, man. Trust me. I didn't learn my lesson. You be on top of the freaking moon like Bruno Mars. <laughs> and then, you know, out of nowhere, like you stop getting those upfront sales. And if you didn't plug those people into anything else, Oh, it's back to the freaking drawing board and you got to start all over again. Oh, my God. Trust me, you need a theme park product. That way, even if they canceled one service or stop using one of the products, they're still plugged into something that you got. You understand what I'm saying? And this decreases the urgency for you to have to constantly be on that cycle of getting new customers all day. It will increase the lifetime value of the customers that you do have. Do you understand what I'm saying? Please put a yes, Lord, in the chat if you understand what I'm saying. Hashtag yes, Lord. Muriel said, that's awesome. Oliver said, man, <laughs> offer stacking all day. Um, Dewan Hells, he said, can we go over the perfect SEO game plan again? Um I didn't go over it on here. Um, I just pretty much like created the plan just off the top of my head because uh, I got it memorized. I did that here live. OK, um, but if you need the perfect SEO game plan, I will send it to you. Just email me, guys. Just email me and I got it. I'll put my email in the chat and you can email perfect SEO game plan. OK. Right here. Boom. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Mildred, what's up? Yes, Lord. Muriel, what's up? Yes, Lord. 
Yes, Lord. This is why I want you guys to come back to this channel. It has nothing to do with views because I don't get a lot of views for real, for real. It has nothing to do with, uh, um, uh, I don't know, vanity or something like that. It's my chance to be able to help a lot of you guys at one time without charging you guys. Do you know this type of stuff People charge thousands of dollars just for a consultation, not even to implement it, just to sit down and like work it out and give you the plan, like the real actual agencies. I'm not talking about these cheap dudes that just will hit you up with a cold call. I'm like, I'll do this for two hundred dollars. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the real actual effective marketing agencies just to do this stuff. They will be charging for it. So this is my chance right here to be able to leverage this platform, YouTube, which will allow me to speak to a lot of you at one time, put your business or your company up on uh, on spotlight in front of everybody and anybody that has a similar business model or business structuring, they can learn from it while I'm helping you guys individually. So like this is awesome to me. I love this. I love it, y'all, because I would not be able to take you guys individually on some one-on-one -on -one type stuff and do this. I can't I can't do that anymore. You understand? So this is my chance to, like this gives me the opportunity to still like communicate with y'all like personally and 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 help y'all personally and no strings attached, no obligations, no spending of the money or anything like that. And I just genuinely enjoy this stuff. Like I enjoy this. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's fun to me. Okay. So do you understand your theme park? Like, it's not just about getting your traffic. Do you understand your theme park product? How do you create your, create your theme park product for this, uh, hyperbaric chamber situation? Let me know. Um, Yes, Lord. <laughs> Oliver said, okay, I'm ready to be the next victim. <laughs> I heard you. Uh, Oliver said, I already got it. Uh, Legendarium02 said, what do you want in return then? Um, what do you mean? What, what do you mean, uh, Legendarium? I'm not, y'all don't hear me selling anything. The people that's going to get in boot camp on the February 20th, they're going to get in the boot camp, whether I talk about it or pitch it uh, or not. Like, that's up to you guys. Like, I don't listen. I'm I'm at the point where I don't I don't like to sell. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll put the things out there that will help people and they'll contact me. OK, so I don't hide my hand. Uh, one of the only things better than money is more money. So I'm not going to act like I don't like money, guys. Of course, we all need money. Money rules this world because the devil rules this world and money is their God, right? So you need money to maneuver in this world. So I'm not trying to make it seem like I don't like money, but what I'm saying right here on these live streams, you don't hear me pitching nothing. I'm not pitching anything. Nobody's going to get an invoice after I helped them with their with their business on here. So what do I want in return? I want attention. I want action. I want a person to actually say, yo, y'all's real. I went out and did what we talked about on that live stream. I wasn't just sitting there eating popcorn. I actually went and did this and look at my sales now. Look at my visibility now. That's what I want in return. Hopefully I pray that that answers that question for you. Um, Mr. Carter says, uh, leading us from the plantation is like leading a horse to water. He's done that. Uh, we have to take the action of leaving the plantation or drinking the water. Yes, Lord. It don't matter how many times I come on here. It's going to be people that show up every day and say, oh, this is awesome in the comments. It's going to people, it's, they're going to show up consistently, be the most active on here. But as soon as the live stream is over, they're going to go watch Netflix or go hang out with some thoughts or something like that. But guess what? That's not my fault. I did my part. You understand what I'm saying? So like my goal is for somebody, you know what I'm saying? Somebody to like change their life. Do you know how many years it took me to gather up this knowledge and experience? 
only for me to be able to just hand it over for free. Like you were saying, like, what do you want to return? <laughs> it's, it's literally free information. Shared information is, is, is free. You understand? T time is not free. Like if I gave somebody my individual time or whatever, you know, which is why the boot camp is not free. But like sitting on here and just chit chatting with y'all and helping y'all out and giving y'all some pointers and stuff like that. That's I don't why, why would I I don't I don't need nothing in return for that. Okay. Um <laughs> no thanks says I was just thinking, wow, this is free game right here. Listen, this is the type of stuff that I wish somebody came to me. I had to watch a gazillion freaking videos. Yes, these videos were free and they were on YouTube and all the and I had to buy a crap load of courses too. But now it's all organized in a perfect SEO game plan. Remember what I told you guys over the Sabbath day? Laws. If you build your business off of laws, the success is inevitable. It's not a if you're going to win, it's when you're going to win. Not an if you're going to win when you're going to win that's what you want guys you want it to be inevitable okay yes lord <laughs> oh god Woo. golly okay. hey listen check this out y'all um hesitation and skepticism, those are the fathers and mothers of failure, okay? They can keep you back from things that are good for you, that can help you change your life. Now, I'm not some freaking Tony Robbins fluff up type dude. I'm a man that believe in the scriptures and I believe in laws and I believe in formulas that are laid out. I let all my ways be established according to the Bible. So I don't deal with skeptics and I'm talking to legendarium. Now I've, 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 I've responded to you respectfully person. I don't know if you're a woman or a man, but please don't let your fears um, <laughs> rub off on the rest of those of us that are about action here. There are times where things don't go our way. And then there are times where things do go our way. But the ones that will succeed in the end are the ones that will endure, the ones that will go through the fire. You understand what I'm saying? And not look at everything as if it's a scam or if it's just not meant to be or if somebody has an ulterior motive. Listen, I already told you what's for sale. I don't have to have a motive. You can find the things that I sell easily. I don't hide any. I don't have to hide it. If a person wants to buy something from me, go get it. So why, why do you keep asking me this? He said, if you're helping us for free, surely you want something in return. What I want is authority. I want to be an authority in my field. And the only way you can be an authority in your field is to help as many people as you can. I mean, I mean what do you want me to say, man? Like, what, do, what answer are you looking for? What answer are you looking for? That's the most attention you're going to get from me from now on. If you want to continue watching, that's fine. If you don't, then please just don't don't rub all this this negativity off on everybody else. You can ride out. There's a million other YouTube channels that you can go in the comments and be negative and scared for. All right. I'll pray for you. I pray that the you know, because God didn't give us the spirit of fear. Guess what? I've been scammed before a million times in my dang on life. I've given money away, but I've always found something positive in it. Whether, OK, that course promised it was going to make me rich, but it didn't. But guess what? It got me to buy. So at least I can learn. I can reverse engineer their persuasion tactics. I can learn their copy and stuff. How did they get me to the point of purchase? You see what I'm saying? I look at stuff on a, 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 a more optimistic. I'm not going to look at everything like it's going to fail. What's the point of life? OK. Jesus. All right, let's move on, man. Uh, <laughs> Oliver says Google gives away crap for free. In fact, YouTube is free and you're watching it now. Google is worth billions. Makes sense now. Exactly. 
because they built up reputation and authority as the source, the go to source for anything you want to know. So now all they have to do is place ads on Google and everybody sees those ads now. Do y'all understand? Okay, let's move on, y'all. Uh, <laughs> Mildred says, uh, this is a good question right here. And then we'll try somebody else after this. Hey, let's get these likes up. It is 51 of us on here, baby. Let's do it, man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Mildred said, uh, no, hold on. Muriel said, you don't know how much of a blessing you have been for me today been stuck for months this puts winds in my sails god bless you that is awesome all praises to the most high god yeah all praises to the most high god right um mildred said what books besides the bible do you recommend well you really don't need any other ones but i do have a couple other books that i read like i don't want to say religiously but um like sometimes multiple times a week especially like shower and all of that extra tmi stuff right <laughs> okay the irresistible offer guys i've mentioned this before you understand all knowledge is shared knowledge okay like i a lot of people think i'm on some different type of level but i'm not if if you just go and do the stuff that i did then you'll know the stuff that i know it's that simple but the problem is we don't want to put that much time into it and this is why i do stuff like this so you don't have to take 10 15 years to figure this stuff out well they haven't been 10 15 years since 2015. you understand what i'm saying well actually mm, we get close okay but you know so now you guys get to condense that time and know just as much as i know if not more right so the irresistible offer that helped like take off a lot like like <laughs> whoo boy my conversion rates dude when, when, when you read that irresistible offer book man a lot of stuff changes um also is a book called authority i <laughs> we were just talking about authority and it's talking about you know how dudes like to create their own book you know they get sales easier you know what i'm saying so it's just, it's just a whole bunch of different things um authority then is a book called known known and this is for legendarium, right? Read that book and that will answer your question. <laughs> Known. Do you want to be the pie man or do you want to be the guru standing on top of the freaking hill? Okay. It, it, that's how the book opens up. The pie man is the one in the crowd tapping on everybody's shoulder trying to get them to buy, buy a pie. Like, hey, man, buy this pie. It's going to be good, man. Hey, 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 just, buy this, just try to buy the pie. Look, I'll give you a discount. But the guru is the dude standing on the hill that everybody crowds around and they came to him because he's the expert. He's known for something. He's the authority. So that book, Known, I love that book. All right. Known, uh, The Irresistible Offer, uh, Authority. Ah, man. It used to be the laptop millionaire, but I pretty much graduated from that book. But then I'll just give you guys um, clockwork. <laughs> We're talking about AI bots and chat GBT and, and automation systems and all of that. That book, clockwork. That would be an awesome book for you guys to check out, man. It would be an awesome book. Okay. <laughs> Real talk. Amen. Yes. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Legendary. It's no, it's no problems, man. I, I just, I, I've been doing this so long that I, it, it gets a little irritated. I understand that you're new here, but I've been doing it so long that it's like, dude, <laughs> you know, I just wish people will research me or go back some time, you know, go back before they say certain things, you know, not just you. You know, not it's not just you, okay? 
but I just you know, I'm I've been public. I never hid. I never ran away. I never disappeared from the internet and took people's payment or none of that stuff. You can literally just just you know what I'm saying. So you don't need to be skeptical uh, as far as that. It's it's good to have a good little you know uh, 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 a little bit of that right caution, but not to the point to where it cripples you from doing things. Okay. All right. But yeah, you don't want to trust no man. So I don't expect you to trust me. All right. I just expect you to look at facts and then make up your mind. Right. Um, yes. Dark chemistry said I will succeed. Yes, you will. All right. Okay, so <laughs> Gary said you can get it for free on Audible. Uh, which one is that? Somebody said something about reverse engineer the alien ship. What is the alien ship? I never heard that. Uh, Oliver said, dude, I'm not going to tell you how great you are. People are seeing it for themselves. Hey, all praises to the most high. I'm just letting, I'm just glorifying him, right? Like, all knowledge comes from all wisdom comes from above, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Like it just does. All right. So whatever y'all think is great about me is be, is not because of some other YouTuber or some crap like that. It's because of him. All right. And uh, yeah, the pie man and or the guru. Exactly. <laughs> I really don't like that word guru, but it just translates to the authority, the expert. You understand? And I've been doing this automation stuff for a long time, way before chat GBT or any of these dudes. All right. Um, um, yeah, Mildred said she put she outlined the books, guys. So that's good. The Irresistible Offer, that's number one. Dude, I'm trying to tell you, whatever you're selling, guys, <laughs> forget Wolf of Wall Street and all that hype up bull crap, right? Like, forget all that. Forget Grant Cardone. No offense. Sell or be sold was decent. That, that was good. You know, I kind of like that book. I love the uh, the obsessed or be average book, you know, but it's, it's just not as actionable. I like actionable. I don't just want to feel good and feel hype. I need actionable stuff. And the books that I recommended to you guys right there, they may not be as well known as a Grant Cardone book or or a Napoleon Hill or some crap like that, right? No offense. But dude, these books are action. They take actionable is actionable stuff that you can get done reading the book and be like, yo, I'm on it. <laughs> I'm on it. I'm finna go do this right now. Like literally, when I got done reading the irresistible offer, I went to all of my landing pages and changed everything. I <laughs> I changed the prices. I added the offer. I did some offer stacking. I went and made partnerships to beef up the offers to make sure. For example, when I talked to you guys about the boot camp, what did I say? Not only are you getting some dang on course, but we're getting twice per week lives where we're going to be implementing this stuff live and we're going to be on there all day. It's going to be a house party. All right. You understand? On top of that, we're going to have the actual developers. I'm going to be interviewing developers with you guys on their live and you're going to be able to ask them the questions about how they built assets and their experience and how much they're making with it. And then we're going to be interviewing some people that own assets, like people from that have things on a Google Play Store and, and all of this extra stuff. You understand? So like, I had to beef up the offer and make it more um, uh, helpful to the, uh, the the intentions for the course in the first place. OK, you're going to have five to seven monetized assets. OK, but maybe you don't know what that what that means. So I had to get all of these extra things to go with it, to beef it up to where it's going to like help you to the point to where it's like, OK, yeah. I know exactly what this is going to do. You understand what I'm saying? So the irresistible offer, guys, if you don't read nothing else, first of all, read the Bible. But secondly, the irresistible offer, because it's something I think about before I put up any Google ad, any SEO page, 
any Facebook ad and every single time I do, they convert way better than if I did not use the irresistible offer. So the formula is irresistible offer or traffic plus irresistible offer equals money. It's very simple. If you want to know how to make money online, it, it ain't even got to be online. You can walk down the dang on street, knock on somebody's door. Let's do door to door sales. OK, so you got foot traffic and then you knock on somebody's door and you give them the irresistible offer to switch cable companies. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, hey, if you switch cable, I know you've been with Charter for uh, three years, but if you switch to Comcast today, you're going to get the first three months completely free. You're going to get all of the pay per view channels for free. Now, I don't know if I could pull this. I'm just showing you guys an example. On top of that, we're going to give you a discount at the Renner Center for a new flat screen TV and replace that little one that I see in the background right there. So, <laughs> are you telling me you're going to stay with Charter Internet if I knock on your door and give you all of that? Hell no. You understand what I'm saying? So you just have to know the desires or the fears and create an irresistible offer, dude. You understand what I'm talking about? So listen. <sighs> okay. Um, Travis, I sent you an email for the perfect SEO game plan. We'll get to it, broski. We'll get to it, I promise. All right. Uh, Clockwork, that book is talking about automations, like with systems, softwares, and also is talking about um, productivity and is talking about virtual assistants as well. So that book is like super awesome too. It, it let me know, like, dude, I was just doing a little bit too much myself, right? Like, I got a wife and three children and some annoying animals. So I, I have to, like, you, you, you got to have systems in place or, it will consume you. You understand your business is created to serve you and others. You're not, you know, you're not supposed to serve your business. Okay. All right. Um, Oliver said he didn't disappear. He just moved to Panama. <laughs> LOL. Just kidding. My time is valuable. I don't spend hours listening to this man for nothing. Look at the value. Appreciate the love, bro. Appreciate the love. Of all y'all, you know, I do appreciate that. You understand? Listen, I understand. You understand? Because there's a lot of people out there and like you can't know their intentions. Like there's no way for them to know your intentions. All I ask is that you prove me. You, you know, the scripture says if you are to have a friend, prove them first. And that takes time. So you have to give a person time. You can't just come to them the first day and be like, yeah, I know everything about you. No, give them time. You know, uh, you know, check their consistency. See if they change. See, see if uh, you know what they talk about is congruent with their actions. You shall know them by their fruits. That's what the scripture says, right? So, like, just prove me. That's all. I'm, that's all I'm asking y'all. I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm asking you to prove me. All right, prove me. See my intentions through my works. Prove me. Don't listen to what I'm talking about. See how I'm going to behave when I interact with you. You understand? See how I'm going to behave when I'm helping you. See how see how I'm going to behave even if you do become a customer or something. See how I'm going to behave. All right? And then if I act like Ty Lopez or Grant Cardone or one of these guys or something, then fine. Fine. I am the fake guru that you thought I was, right? All right. Fine. <laughs> Uh, Oliver says, DM him on IG or Facebook. Right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hey, Oliver says, listen, you could have been halfway through my case study while you correct and legendary. <laughs> hey, I got you, bro, man. Listen, I got you. Um, uh, Travis said, who wrote, uh, clockwork? Was it Mike? Michael Michael Wicks. <laughs> I think that's his name. Yeah. It's, it's just got a giant, it's a blue book and it got a giant clock on, on the on the front page of the book. Uh Seb said, Hey Dave, would it be possible to put time stamps on this video when done? I'll do my best. I'm not too like knowledgeable about that, but I'll see about it. Um Travis says, if so, he also has a book called Pro Yes, that's the same guy. Yeah. Yeah. Profit first. Yep. 
is is uh great to help with budgeting your financing in both in both personal and business financing irresistible offer yes um yeah Curtis said, can we sign up for the boot camp now? There's been a couple people trying to sign up for the boot camp right now. Uh, you can. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's no sin against you signing up early for it. Um, you can. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to stop you or anything. Uh, I just haven't, you know, the launch isn't until February 20th. But if you want to get it out the way, then you can go ahead and sign up to it. Uh, so you can just text. I'll put i put the number in there right now, guys, the customer support number. And you can just text Bootcamp to this number right now. Uh, text Bootcamp to this number. All right, so that's the number. If you want to sign up early, I'm not going to stop y'all. All right, if y'all want to sign up early. But the course isn't going to launch until february 20th and then we start going live on the classes march 1st all right so i just want to update you right there so if you do sign up early don't expect to be emailed access to the course because it's not launched until february 20th but if you want to just get it out of the way because it's burning a hole in your pocket and you don't want to spend it <laughs> on something else then all right, text that number right there. But back to what we were talking about, y'all. I appreciate your uh, 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 you guys, you know, um, being here with me today. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Mr. Carter said, "Annoying animals like a cat walking between my steps on stairs is going to kill me." Yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. All right. So now I guess we can go to the next person, Oliver. He's 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 like uh thinking I neglected him or something like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so we got <laughs> one text that says boot camp, baby. All right, <laughs> we're, we're we're gonna get to you in a minute. Like either they'll get to you or you know, I get to you when I get off here. So just make sure you are ready and then I'll put you down. You'll be the first, I guess. Okay. All right. So let's delete all. Do it now. I'll just start a new chat just in case you want me to email that to you later. Yeah. Let's go, Oliver. Okay. So what city are you doing? We want to start local always. We want to start local before we sit there and try to go national or international. <laughs> are you crazy man all right uh what 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 city are you in um oliver what cities are you licensed in what cities do you work to do insurance in let me know F for me, you know, I got it. F for me, you know, I got it. Okay, he said Philadelphia. Philly, man. Okay. So we always want to start with the keywords. Like, remember what I told you guys. You want a defensive strategy and you want an offensive marketing strategy. It's just like martial arts or sports. You need defense and you need offense. Okay. Just having one sucks. <laughs> just having one sucks trust me all right um let me see so your defensive strategy is your positioning that's like things like your seo or you create an authority or brand visibility about yourself that's your defensive strategy why is that your defensive strategy because it saves you when everybody else goes through a drought in customers or clients or some type of recession or something if you are the number one and if you have your defensive strategy set up people will come to you why do i say that what if google raises their cost per click again what if facebook does they already have been doing that stuff right okay 
So you can't just depend on your offensive strategy. Your offensive strategy, your outreach, your active marketing, so the things that you do to actively go out and get customers, the Facebook ads, the, the YouTube, the Google ads, the Instagram ads, the uh, ringless voicemail blast, text blast, even the automated bots that are doing outreach and stuff like that. That is your offensive strategy. You're doing your crossover on that, on that butt, right? Almost cursed right there. <laughs> All right. But your defensive strategy is like, what if all that other stuff stopped? What have you stopped as? Because a lot of people just depend on paid traffic and paid traffic can get you, you know, pay. Right. It can get you some money. Yeah. But whenever you cut the ads off, everything stops. So you need to have both. You need a defensive strategy to have a steady, consistent inbound lead flow. OK. All right. He said, I'm licensed in 13 states. Shout out Philly. He said, I'm in there. Your net is slow. Yeah, it is, man. Nothing I can do about that. But I got some good news. I got some good news. <laughs> the good news is I just went to Boquete, Panama today, and I just signed. The contract is a year lease. But yeah, I signed the contract to the new Chris Lib in Boquete. Matter of fact, I wanted to upload some videos for y'all on here, but I don't. Let me see. Will that, how can I do that on here? So y'all can see what like the part of Panama looks like that I, that, uh, that I stay in and that I'm going to be moving to in a minute. So that you can get an idea of whether or not you like the terrain around this mug. Maybe you're afraid of heights. <laughs> like I'm, I'm right. My house is a canyon and a mountain. Like right now, the house that I'm at got a mountain in the backyard. But the new house that I'm moving to, it has a canyon. <laughs> like a super like deadly canyon behind and like in the backyard. And then over, across from that is a freaking giant mountain over there. Okay. So it's like, uh, you know, I'm, I was trying to see how I would go about showing you guys that, but I don't, it's on my phone. I don't know how to get it onto StreamYard. Um, yeah, Canyon, right, dude? Like, <laughs> it's unreal, dude. Like, it, it just, it's, it's cr okay. Let me see how I can send this stuff. Can I send it to myself on in Gmail? Or will it tell me that the file is too big? Let's see. Okay, for all of you guys that emailed me, um, SEO Game Plan, NBJ Journals, Joseph Carter, Stuart, um, Ben, ben Pell, um, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, and uh, Travis and Mildred. I will get the perfect SEO game plan to you guys after this, I promise, okay? I will not forget about you. OK, let me see if I can send these videos to myself and then upload it here because it's important. Listen, guys, it's very important to, to know your options. All right. And what I mean by that is what's the point of making money if you're not going to use the world in a way that you want to use the world righteously anyway? And my point is the scripture says he created the world for our sakes. But then I noticed that everybody still lives in the same thing on spots as when they was like struggling and stuff. Why go through all of that crap just to live in the same dang on place where everybody hates everybody and everything is super expensive and the taxes are crazy and like it's just hell. It's hell where y'all at, man. It just is. And money is not going to change that. If you paid attention to the news, you'll see that the celebrities are going through hell, too. And I'm like, why they why they won't just leave the damn country? Why is everybody so sold on that country? Uh, it's, uh, it's infuriating. OK, but let me see if I can get this video up for you guys. And then we'll start with Oliver. OK, the one says, can we go over the perfect SEO game? OK. I will open up the perfect SEO game plan and like read off the steps with you guys. But we pretty much are going through it when I give you guys these little, um, what do you call it? Uh, I use you guys as examples. So we are going through the perfect SEO game plan, but I'll open up the actual file 
and read it off if that's if that's what you're asking me. I don't, I'm not for sure if that's what you're asking me. Um, what is this? I think this is the canyon. Yep, as I thought. The file you're trying to attach is too big, so I'm gonna have to like upload it to YouTube first, and then. <laughs> Damn, I should have did that before we got on here. Man, I really want to show y'all that dang on Kenya. Uh, like my family, they like they usually I'm the one that's like weird around like high places and all of that stuff. I'm not afraid of dark. I just get like woozy and dizzy. And, it, you know, I won't even notice if I'm falling. So by the time I actually like notice I'm falling, it'll be too late. I'll be like in mid air at the bottom, you know, going to the bottom of the canyon, falling to my death or something. So, you know, but uh, today, like, shoot, <laughs> that wasn't bothering me at all. Maybe it was the excitement, okay? <laughs> Blind guy say, I clicked the like button. Can I please get an email too? <laughs> that ain't what you have to do to get the dang on perfect SEO game plan. All you got to do is email me and ask for the perfect SEO game plan. Don't be holding the like button hostage. <laughs> All right, uh, Frederick said, bro, don't forget me. Where do I send my request for the perfect SEO game plan? I'll put it in here again. I'm not going to forget y'all, okay? Okay. All right, so... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it on the, on the computer, guys. I'm going to have to do it on the computer, but don't worry. Uh, tomorrow is Friday. We might have to go live a little bit earlier on Friday because tomorrow's uh, beginning of the Sabbath. When the sun goes down, the Sabbath begins. Right. So I don't want to be still working uh, when the Sabbath starts. So starting at five might be a little bit difficult. So we might start at four tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. All right. I'll give you guys an email update. When y'all see me email you guys, I, I would appreciate it if you open it and like see what I'm sending you and stuff. You know, I know it might get a little annoying sometimes, but I just be wanting you guys to not miss nothing. OK. Um, OK. Thanks. I'm listening and want to watch the and, and watch the chat. OK. Um, OK. So you guys got that. Uh. Dewan says, yes, please, because I can't understand why Google won't let me open new business. Are you talking about the Google business profile? <laughs> if you're talking about that, bro, that's because of the new update. Google is extremely strict with, na with now verifying your business. Like, like, dude, this is why I tell you guys. Now you need to like try to partner with actual local businesses. They have actual real addresses, actual licenses, uh, actual proof that they are they are in business. Because if you look anything like you're one of us, like a marketer or just doing some remote marketing or some crap like that, man, chances are even if you do get the listing to get up, they're going to take it back down. OK, so what we do now is we mask ourselves. We hide behind actual business owners. We will do some type of partnership where we'll, okay, we'll give you 10% 10 of uh, some of the profit the first month or something like that. If you help us verify this new listing, we'll send you some of the leads that we don't want from it or something like that. And then we'll do all of the ranking and all of that. And you don't have to come out of pocket. Like these are the type of partnerships you're going to have to do if you still want to get in the snack pack until we can figure out, which we always figure out another way uh, to get around Google. But it's taking a second this time. <laughs> it's taking a second. Uh, Frederick says, but I got proof. Well, check this out, man. You might need to speak to someone live then. OK. And the good thing about Google is you can actually call them. Uh, Facebook is sucky, you know. They, they got a little help thingy now, but Google has always had it to where you can actually call and talk to somebody. And even when they suspend your listings, you can call them and be like, look, bro, man, I'm an actual real business. I'm, I'm, I'm suspend my stuff right now before I come up. I know where your mama lives. No, I'm just playing. All right. Um, <laughs> Google is cool like that, right? Um, Mildred says, I'm a Sabbath keeper as well. I'll praise it to the most high. Yes, Lord. So that is we are 
we are going to have Lord will will be having uh Sabbath class on uh Saturday 11 a.m. Eastern and we're going to go over more biblical business uh, 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 business principles to help you guys um, with your businesses to but also to increase your prosperity as well uh, you know in, in in your in your life as far as your spirit goes it's not just about money guys all right because remember money without wisdom is not a defense it says the excellency is the person that has wisdom with money wisdom with money okay so i'm not just here to oh here's a tip or a trick you can is a million channels for that crap okay but guess what it goes in one or in out the other in your bank account and then you broke again you need wisdom with it all right mr carter said i need to get this going for health reasons my leg hurts near a bone tumor oh snap uh, need to protect my liabilities because uh, the house, they house my zoo. I don't understand. They house my zoo. Um, maybe repeat that last part. Mildred said, will the class be on this channel? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. 11 a.m. Eastern. Be here. If, if possible, well, all things are possible with Yahweh Shai and the Most High. Um, yeah, I truly hope it's nothing either. Ardell says, I emailed you about our a great collaboration opportunity early this morning. Did you get it? I'll check for it. But it'd probably be a while before I collaborate with somebody because of what's coming up with the boot camp. Is uh, I'm already collaborating with the people that's going to be in there, and then I'm um, then I made a commitment to make sure I try to go live with you guys to help you guys with your businesses uh, multiple times a week. And you see how long we stay on here, so it's it's kind of difficult for me to like stick in a whole bunch of um other like stuff, guys. So don't think I don't want to collaborate. I definitely do because I believe in collaboration. All right. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So we're going to go ahead and deal with Oliver right now. Try to help Oliver. He's in Philadelphia. And then uh, we'll probably end up wrapping it up. I'm super bummed that I'm not able to. Let me see. Yes, I am able to. While I'm doing this, I can help y'all. So for those of you who who are who, who can who keep texting about the boot camp, y'all. Um, when I get off here, yeah, it's seven o'clock. My virtual assistant is just waking up right now. The uh, the one that usually answers you guys for this type of stuff. Uh, let's see. Hold on. When I get out for here, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and message you guys about the boot camp. Not everybody. I'm talking about the ones that have asked about it. For those of you who are, uh, doing it on the 20th is, is that's when the launch is. Okay. So I'm not trying to pitch anything or tell anybody to sign up. I'm talking to the people that are uh, emailing me about this right now or are texting me about it right now, should I say, okay? Uh, a 404 number and a 520 number. That's who I'm talking about, all right? I'm not gonna say all your number. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'm, gonna, I'm about to try to upload these before we go while I help um, Oliver and some of you guys might be in the same industry as Oliver, so make sure you're paying attention or have a similar business model to Oliver. And Oliver is doing the uh, insurance. What type of insurance? Is it health insurance, Oliver, or is it life insurance? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Do, 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 do. Let me know. Is it health insurance or is it life insurance? I need to know. Tell me, baby girl, because I need to know if it's true. Don't. Nah. 
Okay. No, I'm not turning it into a YouTube short. Okay. All right. Ooh, that wind is picking up. Okay, so let's see. Mr. Carter said long tail keywords plus city, then same with the keywords. Yes, Lord. Okay, he says life insurance. Okay, so now we're going to go over to chat. GT, GPT. Let me see. Canyon video one. I'm trying to multitask, guys. Give me one second so I can show you how the video before we get out for her. Off of her, yes. Hitting y'all with the country grammar real quick. Okay. Give me keywords for life insurance in Philadelphia. Ah, so we're going to start with the keywords first. We always start with the keywords. Refresh. I took two showers because I wanted to refresh. <laughs> Be fresh. I am the best. DJ Khaled style. Um, okay. Paste it back in. Bop. Okay. So now it's giving us some keywords. Okay. Life insurance options, life insurance rates, uh, life insurance for seniors, life insurance for continue uh, with long tail keywords for Philadelphia life insurance. Come on, man. Come on, bro. All right, so it's giving us some good keywords now. Like I said, guys, you always want to start with your keywords because your keywords are the base for pretty much everything. Everything. <laughs> Group life insurance for businesses in Philadelphia. Philadelphia based life insurance agents. Look at that life insurance for young adults, life insurance with living benefits. And these are all. Yo, these are some crazy long tail keywords. I didn't, I never even thought of these ones. Look at this one: life insurance for people with pre-existing conditions in Philadelphia. That's if that's not a long tail keyword for you, <laughs> I don't know what is, bro. Okay, let me see. Canyon video two. And tomorrow I'll show you out of the waterfall. But anyway, it's a beautiful country, y'all. Like it's like they film a lot of the Jurassic World and park stuff in in these countries over here and all of that. So it's it's super beautiful and stuff, uh, peaceful and people are super nice and all of that extra stuff. Uh, except for when you run into Americans, they bring that crap over here. The today we was in the ice cream shop in Boquete. When I was uh, when we got done um, filling out the application and we ran into some Americans in there and they was just looking like, dang, we didn't retire and come all the way over here just to steal CDs. You know what? You know, what I'm saying <laughs> you can just see it all over their face. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? So you, you're going to have the ignorance everywhere you go. But from the locals, the locals love us. You understand? But Americans, they're. They're Americans wherever they go, you know, if you get what I'm trying to tell you. Um, <laughs> okay, so now we got the long tail keywords right here. And we're going to create an article. What I would like to do is we'll take this top keyword right here. And then we're going to ask ChatGPT, write an article uh comparing the best life insurance in Philadelphia include um specific brands and their benefits include and 
I always put this with everything, guys. FAQ section for uh, why, I mean, for <laughs> life insurance. Okay, include uh, HTML code explaining how are the steps to getting life insurance. Um, let me see. What else do we want to say? I got the FAQ section. We got the infographic. We got, uh, oh, list 10 reasons a person shouldn't wait to get life insurance. Include the ages that a person should purchase life insurance as well. Do y'all see how I'm trying to get like extremely detailed? Like, uh, okay, hold on. Then we got uh, include pricings. The uh, pricing for each of the brands mentioned as well. So when you do it like this, there's no way you're gonna get plagiarism or or duplicate content penalties or any crap like that that you would normally get. So let's see if uh, ChatGPT is still even working. Bop, we do it like that. So we ah. I'm sorry, but writing an entire article with the level of detail you requested is beyond the scope of a simple <laughs> Q&A exchange. An article of that length will require a substantial research and writing time, blah, blah, blah. It always says that, and then it still goes and starts doing it. As you can see, it's, it's starting to do it right here. <laughs> you see? But uh, so MetLife is famous. Prudential is famous. Okay, New York life is famous. Okay, so it's actually writing it out. It's writing out the content for us. Let's see if it's going to get remember to give us the infographic and all of that stuff. Okay. Oh, man. So first, what you guys want to do, look at this creating the FAQ section. First, guys, what you want to do, you want to get into mastery of your on-page SEO. Because a lot of these keywords, especially the long tail keywords, um, if you create the best on-page SEO experience, user experience and content, um, and, and you want it to be hyper, uh, um, let me give you what I'm talking about, okay? How Google is ranking pages now, especially local, you want it to be hyper relevant, okay? Hyper relevant niche wise and hyper relevant local wise, okay? And I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to give you guys an example because this is a local term right here. So I'm going to give you an example. <laughs> and, and, and listen, you're going to be able to succeed with it. Most of the time, even though I give you the perfect SEO game plan and it has 29 and 31 steps on there, half the time we don't even pass step 12 because our on-page SEO is definitely beating out anybody else, okay, uh, uh, on that first page. So we're gonna say continue because obviously it's not done. Mm. All right, these grapes. All right, so when it's done with that, guys, we're going to do the exact same thing we did the last time. Okay, it's a formula to this stuff, y'all. Look at it. It's giving us everything we asked for. Let's stroll up and see everything we got. We got the FAQ. We got all our keywords. Then it just gave us this right here. I'm guessing this is the uh, supposed to be the infographic. Now it's giving us 10 reasons to get life insurance. <laughs> it's giving us the ages come on man oh oh chat gpt content won't rank on it's too much plagiarism it's it's not original content man look at this that's because people don't know how to talk people don't know how to talk man i need y'all to just practice talking 
Yeah, just practice talking. Okay. So we got go to 31 for Brand Jacking. Yes, Lord. <laughs> All right. Classic. YouTube videos are like a puzzle. Put the pieces together and it's a beast of a machine that has been given for free. Just need it organized. And that's exactly why I'm here, y'all. Yes, you can get all of this stuff from YouTube, but I've been doing this stuff since 2015. So now I have it organized. It took all of these years to be able to know exactly what to do when I opened up a page on a website to know exactly what's going to happen. Do you really want to spend all those years doing that, trying to figure that out, right? Whether it's free or not, that's why I'm here, okay? That's why I'm here, to help with the organization of this stuff, okay? All right, so now we got this. Okay, recommend uh, links to videos about uh, life insurance coverage and how it works <laughs> look at it dude listen okay <sighs> it's getting it it's getting it for you and remember what you want to do is you want to embed these videos but i got all that information inside the perfect seo game plan it tells you what to do with these it tells you exactly how to get the juice from YouTube and make your page a powerful page before you even start your off page strategy. OK, give me more videos, me more videos. <laughs> Look at that, man. You see, I'm talking to it the same way. If one of my dang on virtual assistants presented this work to me. I would tell them, look, no, 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 no. There's not enough videos. I need more videos. Go give me some more. I need more. And then when it got more videos. Okay. So usually me, I have like about 14 videos. When I'm really trying to rank a page, I have them embedded. And then I have the actual URL anchor text. It's an anchor text. So if the keyword is, uh, um, you know, I will anchor text the title of the video. So, oh, my God, this new insurance in, uh, coverage in Philadelphia is awesome. I would anchor text that entire freaking video title and I would be linking back to the video. On top of that, the video is actually embedded into the site. So I'm getting a little. Yeah. OK. You know, I ain't going to try to do all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I go in there and you'll see it. So now. Guess what? Remember what I said? You, the key to beating everybody else out in a city is not even really about backlinks. Your own, you can just dominate, you can kill people with your own page. Okay. And I'll give you an example. Okay. You want to be hyper local and you want to be hyper relevant. So we'll give you this. How do we be? And what are some ways we can be hyper local? Well, remember, this is about Philadelphia. Give me the uh, Wikipedia link and break a uh, summary of the city of, I mean, country. I mean, I said city, state. Hold on. <laughs> that is the city of Philadelphia. Boom. All right, let's see if it's going to give us the dang on Wikipedia link. Ah! <laughs> hey, dude, it gave us the link. <laughs> and it gave us a summary of what Wikipedia tells us. And you're going to plug this into your website, baby. Why? Because it's going to make you hyper local. OK, why would you have this on? You have to remember, Google's job is to provide the answer to whatever a person ask in that genie box that search box that's the genie lamp you understand what i'm saying so you need to answer that question better than anybody a person is not just looking for life insurance they ask for life insurance in philadelphia so you need to convince google without a shadow of a doubt 
that you are in Philadelphia. So one of the best ways to do that is to talk about Philadelphia and be linking out to something that's locally authoritative of Philadelphia. And that brings us to this. Give me the website link and um, summary of the Chamber of Commerce in Philadelphia. Oh, snap. Oh, snap, man. Come on. Now, you got to ask yourself, if you're not in Philadelphia, why would why, why would you have this on your site? And that's exactly what those bots that's going to be crawling your, your page to rank you things. Okay, well, this guy or this gal has to be in Philadelphia. Look at all this like in-depth, uh, you know, information they have about Philadelphia. They got the Chamber of Commerce for Christ's sakes. You see what I'm saying? They have they have that. Okay, then we're going to link out. Give me the uh, driving directions. Google. I don't know if it can do this. I'm just testing this out, yeah. Give me the Google driving directions to uh, 10 of the most famous landmarks or attractions for visitors in Philadelphia. <laughs> okay, Pops, Moms. Check this out. Oh, here we go. It's saying it can't do it, man. It probably will. Look at it. <laughs> oh, it did it anyway. Okay. So check this out. It's listing them, but it didn't give us the driving directions. But what it did do is it gave us the addresses to the most visited and most famous landmarks in Philadelphia. And what you want to do, and it's inside the perfect SEO game plan. And all the way at the bottom of the page, because you don't want to throw off anybody and have them like, why are they linking out to this, right? All the way at the bottom of the page, you want to, you, you're just going to like siphon this juice from Google and it's going to have so much local relevancy in these links. So what's going to happen, guys, you want to get the driving directions to all of these places going to each other. And you're going to embed the code and the maps into the actual page itself. So now Google is like without a shadow of a doubt. If they have a section on this page, places to visit when you're in Philadelphia. And then it lists the most famous landmarks in Philadelphia. Like they have to be in Philadelphia. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm talking about, guys? Do you understand? And this is the stuff that... Okay, Curtis says, you didn't give it the location from. I did. I told you guys to link them to each other. So, for example, you would, uh, when it says from, you will put the address from Independence Hall. And when it says where you're going, you will put the address to Liberty Bell. And then you would embed that one. And then you would do the same thing with the other two down there. And you would have them going uh, to each other, like cross promotion type situation. Chris Cross will make you jump, jump. You understand what I'm talking about? So <laughs> this is how it goes. So you're linking, going, you're linking them to each other. Okay. Sharing that local relevancy and that link juice. Exactly. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Dude, you know how many years it took me to learn this stuff, right? Um, okay. Mr. Carter says, hold on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> Y'all play too much. I'm just now seeing these comments. Uh, blind guy say, I wonder if people talk chat GPT to talk back, then still do the work. <laughs> uh, Travis says, time for some hot tea. Oliver says, wow, you're giving a blueprint. Um, all I need to do is tweak some words around and it's a wrap. Yes, Lord. Hey, please do this, y'all. Play around with this, man. Like, stay up all night if you have to. Like, get this down packed, though. Like, eh. You don't have to, man, think of how much money you're saving. 
by not getting a VA to do this stuff. And think of how much time you're saving. You can literally take all of those keywords that we just saw, all those keywords that we came up with up there at the top and create this same, do the same thing for each page. Each keyword is a separate page. So you're going to have 50 freaking articles and you created those articles in less than three freaking hours using chat GPT. And you just paste them over to the site embed the videos, the imagery, and do all of that extra stuff. And then you link the pages, interlink the pages to themselves, okay? To each other, I mean. Create like a silo, okay? Like a spider web type situation because it's going to share the link juice. And then once one of those pages starts to rank, it's going to start pushing the other pages up in the Google uh, searches as well once they index. You understand what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Come on. All right, Oliver says, uh, no, Mark, uh, Mr. Carter says, bought our house six years ago. Richard became a referrer for my side job startup. I would send him anyone looking for a house. Okay. Oliver said, damn. <laughs> yeah, Philly is a city. <laughs> this is epic. Uh, no thanks. Said. He said, dude, you've been out the country too long. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I don't remember. Like, like it's starting to fade away, y'all. It's starting to fade away. Like I was trying to think of some St. Louis streets the other day. I'm like, um, dang, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I was a bus driver and I, I drove a taxi for a while. Dude, I had so many dang on jobs, man. You understand? So, like, dude, I I, I was a uh, I drove the moving trucks before too. Uh, all type of stuff. So I know all the dang on streets. But the other day, I was like, damn, I can't even remember. Like, dude, yeah, it's starting to leave. Uh, get on my Celine Dion until it's all coming back to me. Yeah, I know that one. That's a bar, right? Okay. Mr. Carter said, could we write something out and redo with uh, each new industry? And if I understand, we couldn't submit the same info helping people in the same industry. I don't know. You have to test that out. Google frowns on similar content. Exactly. Right. That's why that's why we add all these extra uh, uh, scenarios in there, extra, you know, request for it to pull from it so that it won't do the uh the similar content you understand um oliver says so i can actually do this with multiple cities with the same strategies yes you can scale up dominate kill it man <sighs> do it now don't wait later on catch the wave uh cities zip codes neighborhoods yes lord yes <laughs> daddy mac can make you Yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, this is insane, man. Dude, like, think of all the people you're replacing. Just a couple months ago, you was probably thinking about how you can get some virtual assistance. If I had, like, two virtual assistants, I'd be able to scale up and do all this and do all that. Man, listen, all you need after this is a customer service rep, maybe, until we can, like, like get some super smart AI to take that part, right? <laughs> Okay. Uh, Frederick said, I've been on chat GP just trying to figure out how to do that linking. It's inside the uh, perfect SEO game plan. If you email, then you're going to have you're gonna have it before the end of the night. Okay. Yes, I will send you guys the SEO game plan. Oliver said, I'm going to play around with this. I'll have a, fun, a full funnel in 24 hours. Yes, Lord. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay, anti-job university needs his own chat GPT too. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, let's get back to it. Okay. All right. So now y'all got some some uh local relevancy. So we got the like landmarks and then all of that extra stuff, you know, fun things to do in Philadelphia. So it's it's very like you know, local, locally relevant. Okay. So now we need some niche relevancy we need topical relevancy all right we need to be the authority so give me the link to wikipedia page for life insurance and include uh a summary okay uh, come on come on stop messing around Okay. Refreshing the page, guys. Refreshing the page. Okay. All right. So, boom. 
It just gave us that. <laughs> okay, so now we're getting some uh, niche relevancy. And, and the reason why I keep going to Wikipedia, guys, because you guys have to understand that page is high, that website is highly trusted because it has almost as many pages as Google itself. Like it's <laughs> Wikipedia, it's a Wikipedia page for everything. And they have such a powerful silo structure and they've linked to interlinked to e all the each other's pages like crazy. Like, dude, it is like the perfect authority website. It just is, man. It is like. It is when they, when you think of authority, think of Wikipedia. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so that's why when I really want a powerful uh, uh, link out, because you don't want to just have back links. You want to actually link out. You want to have credible sources backing you up on your page so that you can look legit on Google. OK, so when you link out to like credible sources that are proven and trusted by Google, Google, when they read your page, they're like, OK. All right, like they know a little bit, some, 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 some. Okay, so it just gave us a summary or whatever. And then, you know what I'm saying? You can just have it like recommend some insurance companies and stuff. But we did all that over here on this one right here. So now you got all this dang on content. Did we get videos for this too? YouTube videos? Yeah, we got some videos. We got like 10 videos or something like that, right? Okay. All right, so now what we're going to do. Then we just do, now we can start our offensive strategy. Create three Facebook ads to sell life insurance and include the targeting strategy. Let's see if we can do that because we didn't ask that last time. <laughs> Protect your loved ones with affordable life insurance. Give your family the financial security they deserve with life insurance. <laughs> That's my commercial voice, y'all. And look, it created the targeting, man. You don't even need a Facebook uh, course anymore. You understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> Listen, it gave you the targeting. Look, 35, ages 35 to 60. Uh, location, Philadelphia. Interest, personal finance, retirement planning, and insurance. Man, get out of here, man. Get out of here. <laughs> it gave you three ads for this, man. Dude, I am flabbergasted. <laughs> I love that word. Now, who made like that? That's a weird word, flabbergasted. This is preposterous. This is ludicrous. You understand? <laughs> okay. Life insurance for peace of mind. Don't wait until it's too late to secure your family's future. Choose life insurance for peace of mind. So then we're going to say, okay. Create three Google ads for this and include the keywords uh, for insurance, life insurance in Philly. Life insurance in Philadelphia. All right, so let's create an ad. <laughs> These are Google ads. And then it's going to give us the keywords. These are the keywords that we're going to target. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. So y'all, are you getting this, man? Like this is Oliver, right? This is Oliver in life insurance. Are you getting this, bro? Oh, excuse me. Okay. Give me the negative keywords to use for these Google ads. Okay, so now it's going to give us our negative keywords. Okay. Free jobs, comparison, reviews, cheapest, term life insurance, quotes, best life insurance, companies, life insurance rates, life insurance coverage, blah, blah, blah. These are the negative keywords. Uh, life insurance premium. Using negative keywords can help ensure that your ads are shown to the right audience and improve the chances of generating conversations. I mean, conversions. Yes, Lord. So, so you see, as a formula, I don't even have to go and check anything. Like this is exactly what you do. This, that's how you get traffic, man. That's how you get traffic. You you start ranking for it on Google, and then you can put up the ads, or you can do it vice versa. 
If you want to like get straight to it right now, you can uh, start your offensive strategy first and start putting up some Google and Facebook ads. As you can see, ChatGPT just helped you with three Facebook ads and three Google ads, and you can just test them out to see if they work. You want to make sure that you're, let's see what ChatGPT, uh, uh, what creative, creative should I use for the Facebook ads? <laughs> Facebook ads. Let's see if they recommend that some like good creatives for Facebook ads. It's important to use a creative that will capture the attention targeting. Okay, oh, it's actually telling us what type of creative to create for this ad too. And then for those of you who know how to use Mid Journey, I guess you can take these recommendations and go over there and create custom images or videos or something like that. Um, <laughs> Me, I like to use GIFs because they like catch people's attention in the in the in the uh, news feed. But you can see it. Look at it, man. Look at it. It's telling you everything, man. Everything. This is why I want y'all here every night. Because now I can not every night, but this is why I want y'all here because I can actually like help y'all like with this stuff, and you can actually start getting traffic and sales even if you're not in the freaking boot camp. For those of you who already have businesses and things like that, you don't want to be sitting around waiting for the boot camp. You want to actually start getting some sales and all of that stuff on the things that you're already doing. So that's what I'm trying to help you guys with. Uh, <sighs> dude. Uh, Mildred said, I'm cooking dinner for my husband and children while I feast on this knowledge and wisdom this is so good i appreciate you hey what you cooking man what, what, what you cooking what you cooking mildred <laughs> i might have you email me some food no i'm just playing <laughs> impossible right <laughs> but yeah what you cooking tonight man um let's see yeah 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 uh oliver said hell yeah i'm getting this wow hey all praises to the most high guy right you just like I said, y'all. Like I, I didn't make this stuff up. You know, you just have to know what Google wants, and you have to know what to ask Chat GPT. That's all. If you know what Google wants, <laughs> which is the best answer for whatever that keyword is, okay? Whatever that keyword is, let's come up here. Let's go back to the keywords. Where is it at? Okay, so this is the keyword. This is what Google wants. Google wants what the search inquiry uh, inquiry with, uh, is. Google wants what that that searcher wants. The person that typed it in there. Google's job is to provide the best answer for what they searched, which is this right here. Life insurance for people with pre-existing conditions. So you need to have information about Philadelphia, but you need to have information on that page about life insurance. And you need to have information specifically about people with pre existing conditions. So if you can be hyper local and hyper niche relevant, then you win the on page SEO battle, guys. Most people are just getting bland, regular content, trying to promote their business, saying, hey, we're the best. Why don't you compare prices and quotes? And then, 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 then. But they don't have any good content answering this question. Just, just go to chat GPT and get the answer to this question. All right. Um, A20 said, man, I had to start over. Client took all my time and I missed the whole conversation, but I'm here and gonna be. Ah, oh, dang. So you ain't you ain't even yeah, you missed a lot, man. But it's all right, dude. This is recorded. Uh Oliver said, Thank you, man. I really appreciate this. All praises to the most high. Listen, remember what I said, like shared knowledge. You understand? Like none of this stuff comes from me, right? It's like gathered, right? Over years and and revelations and scripture and uh trial and error and testing and and all of this extra stuff you understand so the scripture says to give give knowledge liberally to give it liberally 
you know, just give it freely. You understand? So the only thing I charge for is like personal time, like that type of stuff. Like if I'm going to like personally, like, like be super focused on you or something like that, that's completely different from this. This can reach so many people and this can like, like this is complete. It's, it's, it's different, man. Like it's so much leverage that goes into these platforms and stuff that I don't mind sitting on here helping a mass of people uh, versus just like with sitting with one. It don't make sense because no matter how individual we think we are, there's always somebody out there with the same problems with us, almost identical. So this allows me to take you guys uh, and put a spotlight on your business or whatever problems you're having. And when I help you, it's somebody watching at the same time that was like, dang, OK, I was stuck right there. But now I'm not stuck right there no more because of how he helped Oliver. So even though I was helping Oliver and it seemed like I was just focused on Oliver is other people that are similar to Oliver on here. And they're getting helped while I'm helping him because you guys all have the same problem. But if I was just talking to Oliver one on one, then none of you guys would know anything about it. And I wouldn't be able to help you guys. You see? So that's why I like this right here is way better. It's way better. Um, let's see. Uh, hold on. <laughs> yes. Low it. Oliver said, anti-job followers, if you've been following for a while, they actually sent the SEO game plan in January 28th. Yeah, man, I've been sending it, man. But it's all right. I'll send it again. I will send it again. Um, like I said, I'll put the, the Gmail in there. Hey, if you don't pay attention to it, if you do, if you take it for granted, y'all, you're just going to miss out. It's not just some notepad. It is the most powerful, one of the most powerful notepads that you'll ever receive for your business. If you have the perfect SEO game plan, you can harness the power of the search engines and, and dominate the mugs, okay? And when you dominate the search engines, you get inbound traffic, and inbound traffic converts way easier. Way easier. When somebody reaches out to me, when they text me or call me or inquire to me, that converts way easier than when we reach out to people. It's more of a power struggle then. So when you have inbound, it's, it's way better because that means that person already knows what they want. They already been sold. They already did their research majority of the time. I say majority of time because sometimes people just see your number and just text you for some weird reason. Right. But. You know, what I'm saying that's why you want inbound leads, guys. OK, um, a 20 said I'm working on an application that splits royalties from copyrights. Whoa, powerful, bro. That's awesome. Let me know how that go. Keep me posted. Uh, Frederick said, bro, you are setting the bar very high. Once we all succeed, we each will have to give our knowledge away free. <laughs> Guess I will start a YouTube channel. Thanks, bro. For real, for real. Do it, man. While this stuff is free out here, man, you, God made you to be a light, a beacon. You are supposed to share your gifts. You understand what I'm saying? It's okay to be paid uh, for your, your services. But when it comes to just knowledge and just, you know, you don't hear nothing about the prophets or, or Christ going around with a dang on collection plate. I would heal your, I would heal your son, or I would, you know, read these scriptures for you, but y'all ain't paid me yet. You don't hear nothing about that bull crap. You don't hear that. Okay. Like people was giving him a place to stay on their own because of how much he helped them because of how much free value and how much free game he was dropping and how he was changing their lives and stuff. Like whatever country he went, not country, whatever city he traveled to, like he was taken care of, didn't have to spend no money. Didn't have to buy his own donkeys, didn't have to like provide his own food or nothing. People, complete strangers was inviting him and the prophets to eat and spend days at their houses and trying to get them to marry their daughters and all of that extra stuff. You see what I'm saying? So, yes, spread the knowledge, spread the wealth, help as many people as you can. That's what you're supposed to do. Uh, uh, Mildred said, my husband and I are vegetarians, but my children are not. So I'm cooking some roasted mushrooms and potatoes 
cauliflower rice and bacon chicken and vegetables for the ch man that sound delicioso right now because yes lord it does it does it does man that sounds good Woo! okay uh oliver said and you helped me big time hey i, I appreciate you guys being on here and I'm, I'm grateful that the most high has allowed me to help you guys travis said uh we need to create a growth community one where we can meet up and help each other grow in business and life. This is the closest thing. Uh, uh, is this thing is the free? I think that's what you're saying. Uh, thank you for helping us all grow. Uh, Y'all are welcome, man. Uh, remember, you gotta put it to action, though. This this is entertaining and fun, but in order to see the results, you gotta actually do it. Okay. I want that's where I'm gonna be super excited when you guys start coming on here and showing me y'all stuff. Pause. Okay. <laughs> um oh, closest thing that is free. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh <laughs> yeah, Curtis said he agrees. A20 said inbound and word of mouth has been my love. Yes, Lord. And when you become an authority figure, that word of mouth goes crazy. Okay. That's what that's what I was talking about, man. Check that book out. Authority. Check that book out. Authority and known. Basically, the list that I, I gave you guys. The irresistible offer, authority, known, and clockwork. Like those are only like entrepreneur books I read. I don't need to read anybody else's book. You know, I read my book sometimes, the one that I created, uh, profit positioning. Uh, um, is called uh, only versus best, right? Only versus best. How to be the only buying option versus the best buying option? Because if you're the only buying option, you're the best by default, pretty much. People are just going to automatically assume that you're the best if you're the only option they see, right? Uh, okay. So stop trying to focus on wasting all your time and energy to become the best and just become the only, <laughs> and that'll be it. All right. Uh, net time, net time. What do you mean? Um, <laughs> Mr. Carter, Carter said, Over, overnight me a plate. I'll reheat it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. It'll pray more. It won't get to me overnight because I'm all the way out here. But so, look, listen, I knocked the dust off that plate. <laughs> I was just playing. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, Oliver said, I'm going to show you my product. All praises. I can't wait. Uh, Oliver said, give me the weekend and you'll see your teaching at work. I pray. I can't wait, man. I'm super excited. I can't wait to start interviewing some of y'all, seeing y'all progress and showing the rest of y'all the progress. Cause there's going to be a lot of people that don't put this stuff to action. So I'm going to show y'all off the ones that actually do this stuff. I'm going to show y'all off. I'm, I'm going to exalt you, you, your work. You understand? I'm like, look, this is what happens when you actually take the stuff and do it. Because, listen, I do this stuff. You understand? That's why I can talk with so much conviction, because I actually know it works. It's not it's not experimental. It's second nature to me now. You understand what I'm saying? So do it, guys. Do it. Do it now. Do it good. Do these SEO like you should right now. No, I'm just playing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> rank your website and your no I'm just saying okay <laughs> all right now I get when I start getting sleepy I start getting goofy y'all I'm, I'm about to ride out now it was fun uh dealing with y'all make sure you are here for until further notice show up at 5 p.m eastern tomorrow manana uh at 5 p.m eastern and that way I'll be able to help some more of you guys. Today we helped Oliver and we helped uh, Muriel. That was the insurance business. And that was a hyperbaric oxygen chamber, which was a new one for me. And that was extremely high ticket. So I can't wait to see what other businesses we can start working on tomorrow, guys. 
But like I said, hey, you guys need to make sure you focus on creating the theme park product because nothing sucks more than actually making sales and then losing customers, actually making sales and then going back down. But that only happens when you don't have a theme park product, when you don't have some type of uh, subscription or, or, or other things that you can plug them into that will help them. All right. But make, you got to make sure the other don't just sell them some crap. The other things need to complement the first thing that you're selling them. OK, it needs to complement. it. OK, so, you know, that way it gives them the best results for the reason why they came to you in the first place. And that's how you create the irresistible offer. A20 said, when you taking payments for the boot camp, the boot camp doesn't launch until February 20th. Y'all. But if you want to start paying on it now or something like that, just to make sure you don't spend it on nothing stupid, then you can. You can just text the number, text the number. Text boot camp to the number. I'll put it in the chat one more time. Uh, text boot camp to that number. Okay, it's in the chat right there. And if you guys decide that you want to start going ahead and paying now, then cool. And I can just go ahead and get you, uh, you know, you know, set up for everything like that. Okay, but the course is released on actually uh, on actual date of February twentieth, and then we go on. We're gonna start doing our first lives, and the live boot camp is eight weeks. It's eight weeks straight, two months. We're gonna have some fun, okay? <laughs> we're gonna have some fun, and it's gonna be five to seven different monetized assets by the by the end of that boot camp. Oh my God, man. Oh my God. I can't wait. I can't wait. Can't wait. I can't wait. Nah, we ain't gonna go there. All right. <laughs> uh, Travis says, don't forget to send the perfect SEO game plan game plan to those who emailed you. I got y'all, man. I got y'all. All right. Love y'all, man. Um, Lars Will, we all be here tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern until further notice. OK, if you have any questions, go ahead and text them to that te uh, customer support number as well. And the people that text boot camp, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and, and get to you guys in a minute. And uh, I'm going to send out the perfect SEO game plan first, though. All right. Love you guys.